Check one two, check one two, check one two. What is up, guys? Your it's your boy Kagi back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you the top gaming ecosystems and their tokens. This is not financial advice. This is how I see the market. This is my opinion. In my experience, this is the time to start taking bets. So let's start taking bets. Let me show you what I got here in my top gaming ecosystems. If you guys have any other ecosystems, and when I say ecosystems, these are ecosystems of many games powered by one token so let's jump right into it i'm gonna show you right away so you guys get to know which ecosystems i'm talking about before we go deep into the video so the first one is myriad the second one is gala games the third one is ultra then we got treasure dow then we got running network then we got the mutable network then we got nakamoto games then we got octo gaming then we got pomerium then we got game swift and then we got Tavira. These are the 11 ecosystems we're going to talk about right now. So let's jump right into it. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to our new channel, The Juice News. We bring you the latest Web3 gaming reviews, overviews, trailers, everything that you need in this channel this channel is focused on gaming pure gaming we don't really talk about tokens it's just about gaming so if you're a gamer make sure you subscribe to this channel now our written form website is coming out very very soon juicens.io so make sure you hit that link in the description in a few days it will be up and running we got reviews overviews interviews everything that you guys need to know about web3 gaming in written form in collaboration of course with the youtube channel and everything you need to know in video form so let's jump right into the first ecosystem system Myria. The Myria ecosystem is an L2 with more than 250 games using this ecosystem and powered by the Myria token. Their Myria token just recently came out right here as you can see and is sitting at 175 million valuation. This is a very similar ecosystem to the Gala Games ecosystem and Gala Games is at a two billion dollar valuation and we'll go into that in a little bit right so this has some juice to go if we look at this in a bull market this could potentially go to one billion two billion three billion dollar valuation so I think around this prices is the right moment to get into this token right I already got into this token in a different form so Miria also has nodes so you can actually run a node and for running the node every single day for six hours a day and i do have a video on that it should pop up on the top right of this video you get myriad tokens and you also get nft rewards something that gala games also has right so you get myriad tokens you get voting rights and you get exclusive nfts as you can see right here now with that being said let's go into gala games gala games is a solid solid ecosystem they have a lot of games just like myriad but they have been around for a long long time i also have nodes in gala games that generate me the gala tokens and i think gala is at a pretty good price it has been sitting around this price right here for a while it has been sitting for a while right here as you can see between the five cents four cents three cents we go to 180 days so this has been basically uh, the price around gala for the past few months so i think it's sitting there and it's ready to pop off any moment now this ecosystem really did pop off back in the last bull run and it went almost to 80 cents it was insane i made insane gains if you guys were part of those gains congratulations if you guys are not part of those gains don't worry i think gala games is right back at a good price to be ready for the next bull market right that is my opinion, not financial advice. Gala Games has a lot of games, a lot of IPs, like The Walking Dead, as you can see it right here, AMC, their MMORPG, which is The Walking Dead MMORPG, pretty cool. They have this Mirandus, which is a huge MMORPG. Um, they also have Superior. They have really, really good games. I mean, there's a lot of gamers in Gala Games. Out of all of the big ecosystems, Gala Games is definitely up there in quality of gamers and quality of games so make sure you check out gala games they also have gala film and they also have gala music so they're going into so many verticals which is good right they're actually taking bets in the film industry they're also taking bets in the music industry as well now ladies and gentlemen let's talk about ultra the ultra community is actually insane they've been tweeting at me for years like uos uos oh my god uos why you never talk about uos the reason i never talked about it is because the product was still not out and i couldn't review the product so ultra right here ladies and gentlemen ultra just launched their product and they have a bunch of games in their launcher and they have web 2 games and web 3 games so what they're trying to do is have a seamless 
kind of Steam or Epic Games where you got Web 2 games and Web 3 games, but you don't really know the difference, right? Some of them have collectibles, some of them don't because the Web 2 still don't have collectibles, but this is a really good way to onboard Web 2. A lot of these Web 2 games are going to be like, hey, uh, you know what? That game right there is doing a lot of money by selling collectibles. Why don't we sell skins? So this is a really good way to actually onboard Web 2. And Ultra has a token as well. And the Ultra token right here, 0.28 cents. And it's sitting at a $300 million valuation. I think that's pretty cheap for what Ultra is. And Ultra has been around for a long time building. And now they have a solid product. They focus on their games, of course. They have the unique marketplace, which is the NFT marketplace. And they have the Ultra Arena, which is for esports. So everything in one package. So basically, you download a game. You can trade your collectibles there. And you can join esport tournaments within the ultra ecosystem so a very solid project and as you can see they also have huge ips within their ecosystem like the walking dead that game is actually really good so make sure you check out the ultra ecosystem and if you're trying to put some money I would put some money in Ultra as well. Let's jump into Treasure Doubt, ladies and gentlemen. There's an ecosystem on the Arbitrum network. And you guys already know the Arbitrum network has been blowing out of proportions. And actually, Treasure Doubt is one of the biggest holders of Arbitrum and one of the biggest voting powers in Arbitrum is held by the Treasure DAO ecosystem. Now, the Treasure DAO ecosystem, of course, is powered by the Magic Token, and this ecosystem has kind of mini games. That's how they started, right? You got this game, which is an RPG. Uh, we got this uh, pixelated MMORPG. We got some card games. We got different games, and little by little, they are bringing in games that are in the games into their ecosystem. And I'm sure at some point, they're going to bring in a AAA game because they got the money, they got the ecosystem, system and they got the community this community is extremely insane okay so it's powered by the magic token and the magic token is sitting at a 400 million dollar valuation and again i think this is a good price right i think this is a good price these valuations in a bull market they literally hit 5 billion 6 billion 7 billion you just never know i mean Axie infinity Axie infinity i think hit like 50 billion dollar valuation so when you compare 50 dollar valuation into something like i don't know web 2 epic games or activision activision is worth like 50 billion dollars in the stock market i mean you cannot really compare it right activision should have way more valuation but we are in crypto we are degens here you cannot make sense of all of this so you gotta prepare for the bull market you buy now you buy in red and then you sit your bag there and when you see something pop off then you make your money and you out ladies and gentlemen let's talk about the running network now the running network is an ecosystem that powers the axie infinity network right because axie infinity by itself is a network it's an ip within the running network now they have just onboarded five more games and they're going to keep onboarding games this year and next year so this is going to be a huge ecosystem and they just launched their validators so you can be a validator in the running network as well so make sure you check out the running network or just buy the wrong token the wrong token can only be bought inside the running network so you have to bridge money into the running network and then right there you swap it for Roan, and they're going to keep onboarding games and let's look how much the running network is worth the running network is worth one billion dollars in my opinion a little bit overvalued but it doesn't matter these are the ogs these are the ogs of the web3 gaming community and that is why they have that price that is why they have that valuation and they deserve that valuation could it go down a little bit maybe maybe not but staking is already here there's a supply shrink right now the supply is all staked everybody that had their own token now they have staked it i have staked it myself as well so there is less running tokens in the market so that valuation is well deserved and they keep delivering so make sure you check out the running network do not fade the running network ladies and gentlemen never do that again never fade the axie infinity community as well uh, i mean they're gonna always come back you know they're ogs they're grinders and they're not gonna stop until they succeed now the next ecosystem is immutable x this is a huge ecosystem they have gamestop they have a lot of games in this ecosystem triple a games and they're actually really good games and i have played a lot of them myself you guys can check out my channel so 
you got Ember Sword right here that I just recently played. Great MMORPG, solid MMORPG. Then we got quality, quality with Illuvium. We got one of the best card games in the business right here with Gods Unchained. I don't know if you guys can see that one. In short, they have a lot, a lot of games and they have a lot of partnerships. They just recently partnered with Polygon. So they're actually taking their ecosystem into the CK EVM, into the Polygon CK EVM that is going to be powered by the IMX token. So do not fade IMX and let's look at the valuation for IMX. IMX fully diluted valuation is at a $2 billion valuation. I think it's a little bit overpriced, just a little bit. But when you compare it to the big dogs in this industry, that is around the range, 1 billion, 2 billion, right? So if you look at Immutable, then you look at Ronin, then you look at the Gala ecosystem as well, which is also out of 2 billion. This, that is the range for the people that have experience in this gaming ecosystem. For the projects that have experience, that is the range from 1 billion, 2 billion, 3 billion dollars, that's around the range. All right, so let's jump into some low caps compared to what I just showed you before. These are less than a hundred million dollar valuation, and these are solid projects as well. They're a little bit riskier because they're not that well known, but let's get started. So we got Nakamoto Games. They have hundreds of games. They're coming out with their mobile version as well. As you guys know, mobile is huge, huge in gaming. It is the leading platform. Mobile games are the leading platform, not PC, not consoles, mobile. Why? Because everybody has a mobile. Everybody can download a mobile game and it is the leading platform for people to play games. So that is a great move from Nakamoto Games to actually have a mobile app. So we're going to go into the Nakamoto token. As you can see right here, the Nakamoto token is at a $51 million valuation. So if you compare that to every other valuation that I just showed you, so the upside potential on Nakamoto Games it's insane, right? It could go to 500 million. It could go to a $1 billion valuation by next bull market, maybe 2 billions. I mean, we're talking about 10, 20, 30, 40 X for something that is at a $50 million valuation, but we never know. We never know. Sometimes it doesn't catch on. Sometimes it doesn't catch on, but I think Nakamoto games has a, an insane community. They're always tweeting at me. They're always commenting. So I think they're going to make it. So now let's jump into another one, brand new one, Okta gaming. I actually downloaded their app recently to see what kind of games they have to see if it's a smooth app ladies and gentlemen super smooth super intuitive another mobile ecosystem they just launched their token and i think the token is sitting at a pretty good price and it did not dump it did not dump when it came out it did not dump insanely like many tokens when they come out they dump all the way down so pretty smooth launch if you ask me so fully diluted valuation 40 million valuation similar to Nakamoto. So these are low caps compared to everything else that is out there in the market that I just showed you at the beginning. And then the next one is Pomerium. Pomerium is also a mobile focused ecosystem. They also have nodes as well. I, I do not have a node on this, but I will be looking into this. The nodes are right now $2,500. As you guys can see, let me see if I can show you right here. $2,500. They generate the POM token. Um, and then you get to run the transactions for the ecosystem and you get rewarded in the POM token. So I'm not really sure about this. I need to take a look. There's only 10,000, it says right here, 10,000 units. So I might be early into buying this um, ecosystem. Maybe it blows up. That's what happened to me with Gala Games. I bought the notes for $2,500 and I made a bank. So you never know. Maybe I'll take a bet on this one, but let's take a look at the fully diluted valuation. Fully diluted valuation, ladies and gentlemen, is at a $14 million valuation. That is nothing, that is nothing. That a 10X puts that at $140 million valuation. At 20X, 240, et cetera, et cetera. So we're talking about, we're talking about from here to $1 billion valuation, and it's definitely possible in a bull market, this could be an 100x token right here sitting right in front of our eyes, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of our eyes. But we never know. We would just never know. So just take bets here and there. Now, I have two brand new ecosystems that I'm going to show you right here. We got the Game Swift ecosystem. They have not launched their token yet. They have not launched their token yet. 
So we have to wait for this one, but I'm bringing you this one early so you know this is going to happen. And then we got the Tavira ecosystem on the CK Sync network. Now the Tavira ecosystem is very similar to Treasure Doll. They're first movers, they're bringing mini games at the beginning, right? Their first movers and their token is still not out their token is still not out there's going to be an l3 so ck is an l2 and they're going to have a network inside the ck network which will make it an l3 so it is only gaming focused this ecosystem has a lot of potential especially because it is the first mover on ck sync network so ladies and gentlemen that is all for today Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you guys subscribe to our Juice News channel, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you subscribe to this one. This is where we bring you all the overviews, all the gameplay, all the trailers, everything that you need to know about Web3 Gaming right here in Juice News. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.